to my Dying Light review. Um, Dying Light is the new game by Techland, the creators of the Dead Island series, so you might remember them. This game is for the next gen on um, <coughs> PS4, Xbox One, and PC. So, a little bit about Dying Light. It is a sandbox, first person, open world, zombie survival. It is a fantastic game in my opinion. I had a lot of fun playing this, especially when we're doing a four-player co-op. Now, <clears throat> with its very immersive world and dynamic gameplay with the use of the parkour system, um, the controls feel a little odd at first primarily because on the console versions of the game you have the r1 trigger on a playstation uh, that's where i did my review from was the jump and grab button so it gets a little strange sometimes and like i said the immersive world is fantastic Wherever you can see, you can go, pretty much. Scale buildings with the verticality of the parkour system makes this game just that much more interesting. And in a lot of ways, a lot better than what Dead Island did. The use of the grappling hook added so much more to the parkour system as it was. And with the combat, hacking, slashing, and zombies, and with the occasional slow-mo to show off your critical hits the fighting can be rather brutal at times as you can see now at night the game takes on a whole different kind of face where you are more or less the hunter becomes the hunted and you want to be precautious because of the volatiles that roam around at night if you get spotted, well, buddy, run. But, <clears throat> you know, at night is more going from safe house to safe house, looking for safe points using your UV light or dropping flares to make sure that they can't touch you. So, at nighttime, you get, gotta be a little bit uh, cautious. But, as you further level up in your skills through survivor, agility, and power, uh, roaming around at night tends to be a little bit less serious and you're more or less after the EXP and the points because at night time they double. Now, <clears throat> a couple things that I found um, a little uh, as more or less a turn off in this game was I want to say um, the main story seemed to drag a bit. I mean, it was very scripted and a little, a little blah, especially towards the end. Um, the main character, who um, <clears throat> the main villain, who is uh, goes by the name of Rock, seemed like he was modeled after Voss from Far Cry 3. A little too much. And you can... And the game introduces it to you, uh, introduces him to you, and you see him uh, in interactions with other characters. You can see where, you know, where they got the idea from. I mean, very clearly. But... What really shines in this game is the side mission quests. Although sometimes when you are roaming around the world, you do come across the occasional frightening freak of nature. And they can be rather terrifying, and sometimes you just don't want to go about it alone because, well, you really don't stand a chance. But, back to the side missions. The side missions is where the game really starts to shine out. Um, <clears throat> they're very in depth. They're highly rewarding, and a lot of times it's extremely fun and can be challenging. So, you know, to wrap this up, I'm going to say that 
if is the game worth your money absolutely completely worth sixty dollars and does it live up to all the hype is it better than Dead Island absolutely with the season pass uh, for twenty dollars with the first content dropping um, in February why not it's a lot of fun to play with your buddies you have a four-player co-op you have a <clears throat> a be the zombie mode where you can jump in onto your friends games take over their stuff and they're out to kill you and you are out to kill them you play as the alpha zombie with your own set of abilities it's a lot of fun but the main turnoff that I had about that is a lot of people are scared when you try to invade their game and they don't want to deal with you so sometimes finding the game can be a little on the difficult side so to wrap this up um, give it a rating um, an 8 out of 10 is um, my seal of approval here for this definitely worth the $60 price tag I'm looking forward to the additional content dropping from the season pass and I'm looking for other stuff that Techland is going to get involved with because if it's going to be anything like this I'm definitely going to be looking into it all right guys so that's it for now hopefully I'll see you in Haran this is Saijin signing off